Hello, so we're back and this time we have a comeback job. I probably this is the second one and one year and a half comeback job. Now when I say comeback, this is out of my warranty, but still doesn't feel right and uh, I feel kind of bad. So I made a video with this repair. You remember this video? It was made 10 months ago. And it was a corrupt BIOS, so I read the BIOS and a lot of work fine. And the customer used it. But the customer is saying that he left the laptop for a while and the laptop died. Let's say he said same like before. He said has some light. I told him, you know, remove the battery, remove the BIOS battery, leave it and uh, then try again. And when he try again, it's just that there's no light at all. Anyway, he sent me... Uh, Jack uh, spare part, but clearly his charging board is fine, has no problem. Let's plug a charger and see what he's doing. Now, if it's a BIOS again, I'm pretty sure I have his BIOS so I can write it back. So, plug in the charger and it's taking 20 milliamps. You can see on the screen 20 milliamps. Pressing the power button. And nothing happened. So that's make me believe actually it's not the same fault. Just because you see the EC chip is not reading the power button. But anyway, let's open this laptop and try to have a look inside and see what is the problem. Okay, so the laptop is open. And now I remember the, the laptop. So we have to open a lot of things. In order to reach the motherboard but we do have a bios chip there hmm? oh yeah so the graphics card is connected with uh, yeah has a graphic card actually okay let me try something let me unplug the battery and connect the charger again So, uh, charger is plugged in and it's taking exactly the same amount of current. Okay, let's take out the heatsink to make some space here. So, we took out the heatsink. Uh, yeah, you see the thermal paste is still fresh from uh, the last time when I applied it. Now let me plug the charger one more time and let's check the main power to see if it's present. And we have 19.7, check on the screen. So the main power rail is present. It is not present on the GPU, but on the CPU it's present. Hmm. Okay, the next step, the 3.3. Let's see if the 3.3 is present. Uh, if the 3.3 is present, can be a bias issue. So the power button looks like it's here. And let's see what we have here. We have no voltage. We have no voltage on the power button. And actually that 20 milliamps is telling me a lot. Okay, we have no other options than... Uh, to strip down the, the motherboard and check. So give me some time and let me see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's making sense. So basically we check the, the power button voltage, but the cable is not even plugged in. So do you think actually, and the laptop is working? Let's try to plug the charger again. Let's try to press the power button. Yeah, now it's making sense. So check here, we have the light here, the customer said, you can see? Now it's making sense, yeah? Uh, so uh, the customer forgot to connect the, the power button even cable. You can see the EC chip is responding, which indeed, uh, for me, looks like a bias issue. So what I'm going to do, let me check the BIOS chip. I believe this one is the BIOS chip. 
256. Uh, this is the bio chip. You can see. So last time I desoldered the chip, yeah. But last time I didn't have the pogo pins, but this time I have them. So let me try to find the this customer BIOS because I'm pretty sure I have it on my Discord history from the guy who cooked it. Um, let me try to find the BIOS and then we can write the BIOS together and see if that it will fix the problem. Uh, yeah, we have 3.1, check on the screen, we do have voltage on the BIOS chip. Okay, just give me 5-10 minutes, yeah? Good. I found it, I found the BIOS. So we have the programmer, which, you know what, I'm very happy. I'm very happy about the Revel Pro programmer. I will lie if I will say I'm not happy. And you remember, remember my Pogo pins, which I bought them from AliExpress? There were some people said, you know what, those are not good, but are fantastic. We can program the BIOS without desoldering the BIOS chip. So we have the pin number one there. Uh, connect to the board. And now let's go on the screen. We have to identify the chip first. Three volts. Yeah, you can see the chip. Now we can open the BIOS. We open the BIOS and all we have to do is to write a BIOS and it's erasing and then programming. What I like about this programmer is fast. So this is a 256 megabytes uh, BIOS. And the second what I like is actually you can see the current. And the current is, you know, it's just another indicator about the health of the, not of the BIOS, of the BIOS bio power rail. Yeah, but it's pretty handy. I mean, I didn't pay money. The guy, you know, sent me like a present. It's, I have no issue. And I made so many BIOS jobs and it's working great. Another things what I like, I can change like custom voltage. I mean, I don't want free volts. I want 3.1 or 3.2 because sometimes you get like errors. Yeah, very, very handy. So uh, now it's programming. Uh, let's wait and uh, that's all what we have to do on this laptop. Hopefully it will work. Okay, so the chip is programmed. Then the programmer has to verify. And if everything is good, it's ready. And it's verified. Yeah, all good, all good. Let's check. You see, no desoldering. Now let me plug the charger. I do have the customer charger here. So plug in the charger. Let's press the power button. And it's not working. We didn't reset the bias. One second. We didn't reset the bias. Yeah, okay. I took out the bias battery completely. Let me plug the charger again. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. So, why is it not working? That's the question. I mean, I checked the video, it's exactly the same fault, exactly. So pressing the, the power button and I had the, I had the orange light coming on. But what I did last time, and I didn't do it this time, I didn't desolder the BIOS chip. Which makes me believe... Do you think actually, nah, 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 she'll get programmed fine, even solder on the board? No, because the chipset is next to the BIOS chip, um, which is here. I believe actually the problem is the chipset. So just because I heat up the area, 
the laptop stop, start working. I don't think it was a BIOS issue in the first place. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the foil out and I'll try to heat up the 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 chipset. Yeah, give me one second. Okay, so the foil is out. The memory was exactly here. Let me plug back the connectors. So I will come with a hot air. But I want a smaller nozzle. Yeah, like this one. Let's come with max temperature 480 degrees. And let's go on the size of the chipset. Okay, so we heat up the chipset. Uh, let's cool down a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. Yeah, that's fine. Mm, it's too hot. Still too hot. Yeah, that's fine. Let me plug the charger. And we have Y light. Did you see a Y light there? And the CPU is getting hot. Check that Y light. What did I told you? What did I told you? <laughs> uh, yeah. What did you say? Crack soldiers under the chipset? No, this is a faulty chipset. Same like we do with the GPU on the past, you remember? Yeah, it is something wrong inside of the inside of the of the chipset let me just put the heatsink and test together because it was strange i mean exactly same fault but last time work because of what because i write the bias no because i heat up the board that's why. So plug in the charger. Let's test one more time. We have the Y light here. Yeah, we don't have fans. We don't need fans. We just need, need to see the picture. Uh, let me plug one fan just to see what's going on here. Yeah, the fan is spinning at full speed. Yeah, it's you know it's doing some things when you uh, when you reset the BIOS, but I'm pretty sure it's working. I'm pretty sure. Check there. Check that, huh? We have picture. Yeah, we have to put the the service tag uh, again on the on the BIOS, but the laptop is working fine. Dell, 
you can see let's wait for the white screen alt f alt f yeah and he's saying the service tag has not been programmed so we have to program the service tag yeah it's no hard drive i know that i know continue okay so the laptop it is working fine yeah so what will happen next what will happen next is uh not sure what what it will happen next this is a faulty chipset but what i will do yeah it's no hard drive what i will do i will stick some thermal pad over the over the chipset just to be sure just to be sure it's not getting that hot so if we are trying to cooling to cool down the the chipset maybe i can use thermal pads to heat up the back case and uh, hold uh, the chipset temperature uh, lower because the lower i keep the chipset temperature it will not uh, inflate when it's getting hot, right? So it's getting hot, it's inflating a lot. So if I'm keeping the, the temperature, the chipset temperature low, I can, uh, you know, make the laptop life longer. But otherwise, this is the same story like with the, with the GPUs, yeah? And the people fought on the beginning. Uh, no, the chip needs a rebolding, and you rebold the chip, and the laptop is still coming back after uh, after a, uh, a period of time. Same story here. You don't have to rebold. You just you know try to heat up the the chip with high temperature, and yeah, it everything it's inside. So the issue is inside of the chip, not with the solder balls. But anyway, I'm happy I fix it. Probably it will work again in a few months. Or maybe not. Maybe if I keep the, the chip cold, uh, it will work longer. But anyway, I will say thank you for watching. You know, like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.